In this video, you're going to learn how to annotate screenshots in your digital portfolios so that you can give explanations or descriptions of what you're showing in your screenshots. So here I've got uh, an example slide in my portfolio and I've got four screenshots that I've already added and I've given them borders so they stand out from the page. And what I'd like to do now is I'm going to add um, little text boxes and arrows to explain what's happening in each screenshot. So here's my slide and the first thing I need to do is insert a text box. So I click on the insert text box button in the toolbar and I can click and drag where I want it to appear. And by default the font might be a little bit large but let's just enter some writing to start with. So step one Select a table size from the table option oops, in the insert menu. And now let's get that writing a little bit smaller so it fits more neatly. So maybe size 10. And we can move our text box around and resize it so that the writing fits. We might even want to make it centered. And that's centered horizontally and also centered vertically. And to make our text box stand out, let's add a border. So I'm going to go to the line or the border color. Uh, maybe use a nice red so it's contrasting. And that looks pretty good. Um, and I could even make the background of the box white so that stands out. And I'd like to get some arrows that really show that we're looking at the insert menu and the, the table option. So to do that, I'm going to go to the arrow tool. Now, if you can't see the arrow tool here, you might need to click on the drop down next to it and select arrow. And then you can just draw from the box to the thing that you want to highlight. Now, it's come out grey, so let's click on the arrow, change its colour to be the same as the background of the box. I might even make it a bit thicker so that it really stands out. And I can add another one to the other part of the screenshot that I want to draw attention to. Again, change its color, maybe its thickness. Okay, so I've done my first annotation. I'm gonna do another annotation on each of my other screenshots. Now, to save time with this, I can use the text box that I've already made and formatted as my template by simply clicking on it, going to Edit, Copy, then Edit, Paste, and I can use this copy of the text box as the basis for my next annotation. So I can just select the text to change it, And you might have to move things around a little bit to make everything fit, but that's absolutely fine. And I can keep pasting that first text box for each of the annotations that I'm going to be adding to my page. And there you have it. Now we've got our screenshots in our portfolio with annotations explaining what's happening at each stage 
and in each screenshot. Now somebody could read this and follow these instructions to apply the same skills themselves, learning from what you have learnt and shown in your portfolios.